Hi, this is John, and this video is going to be talking about a washing machine application that's in Chapter 9 of the book Programmable Microcontrollers with Applications using the MSP430 Launchpad by Mr. Unsalan and Girhan. Now, the, basics, the basic components we're going to be using are uh, the MSP430 Launchpad. We're going to be using some LEDs, some resistors to control those LEDs some push buttons, a couple of capacitors to control the, the bouncing of those push buttons, and these basic push buttons. And we're also going to be using a ULN 2003 motor driver and a 28BYJ-48 5 volt DC motor. Now this motor is pretty popular with the Arduino and hobbyist crowd. There were a ton of them on Amazon and eBay. Went ahead and picked them up there. Now, as I said, this motor controller is 5 volts. Um, so the project calls for a 7805 voltage regulator. And what that does is it takes the input from here. I'm getting an input from a 3 to 12 volt inner cell um, switchable voltage regulator, which is pretty nice for our metal projects and stuff taking the 7.5 volts there and dropping it down to 5 volts and it delivers enough current to run the motor. So to give you a little example, go ahead and take a measurement there, 7.5 volts there, and then it goes through the voltage regulation, long story short, and it hits, let me get a good there we go. It hits 5 volts there. And it goes to the motor controller and it gives everything that we need. So let's go ahead and talk about the application. These two push buttons here control the, the on and off and the speed. This push button controls, okay, machines on, red light, red LED, machines off, no red LED. This push, turn the red LED on, and this push button controls uh, the speed. Yellow LED off, normal speed. Yellow LED on, slow speed. So let's go ahead and put it on normal speed. And these three push buttons control the function of the washing machine. What kind of wash are we going to get? This one is uh, normal, just a spin cycle. Now I know I said washing machine and you're thinking fast, but this uh, stepper motor is actually kind of slow. So that's about as fast as I can get it. And this is... Uh, a short duration both way spin. This push button is long duration both way spin. Now, with this particular motor, um, it would normally it would take four to eight steps to complete one revolution of the motor. But this particular motor and perhaps other motors also have gears, and those gears make it so that it takes anywhere between two thousand to four thousand steps to complete a revolution. Now that was a huge problem because the code in the book only accounted for about 30 to 100 steps, which with those gears that normally take two to 4,000 steps, I mean, I couldn't see that motor move at all. So I just thought my code was wrong or my hardware was wrong or just something wasn't right. It just so happens that after a while, I finally figured out that I just needed to give more steps to it. And so I gave a, a whole bunch more steps. Um, and I finally got some good revolution out of it. So if you're doing this project having some trouble, or perhaps with your own motor controller, stepper motor project, and you're wondering why it's not working, you might uh, just need to add a couple thousand more steps to finally see it move. And that's a little tip that I learned there. So we did normal speed. Going to go ahead and do uh, turn on the yellow LED. Going to get some slow speed. All the functions are the same, just at a slower speed. We'll just do one slow speed because you know none of us have all day. We got things to do, places to see, and stepper motors to control and program. So as you can see, the stepper motor is moving. And once again, this was the washing machine application, uh, MSP430 launch pad application. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And have a good one.